so this is the Matroba again uh, this time taking you through trigonometry I'll call this trigonometry 1 uh, since we're going to do many examples now let's look at uh, this particular example in this example we're given a right angle triangle named ABC now uh, we are asked that uh, AB, the side AB, is 13 units. We're told BC is 5 units. And we are not given the third side. However, we are asked to find sine of theta, uh, cos of theta, tan theta, and cos 2 theta. Uh, you'll notice on the triangle that theta is located right at point A. Now, with regards to uh, the angle theta named, um, the adjacent will be the side AC, the opposite will be the side BC, and the longer side AB is called hypotenuse. All that is with respect to angle theta given on the triangle. If we were given another angle, let's say angle ABC, then the respective opposite adjacent will be different. The hypotenuse though remains always the longer side. Now let us look at a solution for our question. Uh, for part A, we, we are asked to find sine of theta. We will want to give the formula first. Uh, usually to find the sine of theta of any angle, you do the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Now in this example, you already given uh, the opposite, which is 5, and we're also given the hypotenuse, which is 13. So easily, sine theta is 5 over 13. Now, let's look at um, part B. In part B, we asked to find the cosine of theta. Uh, this time, uh, I'm sure you know the formula. The formula for finding the cosine is always uh, the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Now looking at this example, whereas we were given the opposite and the hypotenuse, we were not given the adjacent. So let us try to find what the adjacent is. Uh, to do this, we're going to have to use the Pythagoras theorem. Let's call side BC X, let's call side AC Y, and the hypotenuse, let's call it side Z. Now, using Pythagoras theorem, in order for you to find um, the adjacent, in this case Y, we have to find um, Y using the Pythagoras theorem. And this is how it's going to be, that x squared which is 5 so 5 squared plus the adjacent squared which is y will be equal to the hypotenuse squared which is 13 when we do uh, the maths 25 plus y squared is equal to 169 take 25 to where 169 is y squared will be 144 and to find y we'll find the square root of both sides and so y is 12 so we do now have our adjacent. The next thing is we need to find our cosine. Now, like we say, the cosine is found by the adjacent over the hypotenuse. This time, we already have our adjacent, so it's going to be easily 12 divided by 13. And that is our cosine. Now, the next thing is we were required to find the tangent of theta. Quite easy because we already have all the sides, the three sides. So the tangent of theta is going to be the opposite divided by the adjacent. And the opposite we already know it is 5. The adjacent we already know it is 12. And so we have 5 divided by 12. And that's it. Easy peasy. Once you find the third side, it becomes easy peasy. 
And now to the last part of the, this question where you are asked to find uh, what cos 2 theta will be equal to. We'll use trigonometric identities here and the one we'll use is cos 2x is cos squared x minus sine squared x. There are three other identities which I'll let you know at the end of this example. Now, in this case, our x is theta, and so we seek to find what is the cos of 2 theta. We've already found the cosine of theta, which was 12 over 13, so cos squared theta is going to be 12 over 13 squared. Now, we also had already found a sine theta, and so sine squared theta is going to be 5 over 13. So we substitute the two values into the equation we had above. Remember, where there's x, we're putting theta. And so this time, we're going to have 12 over 13 squared minus 5 over 13 squared. And that gives us 144 over 169. Take away 25 over 169, giving us a final answer of 119 over 169. That will be the solution for cos 2 theta, but like I said earlier that there are three other identities and these are shown below. That The first one is uh, cos 2x is found by 1 take away 2 sine squared x. The second one is 2 cos squared x minus 1. And the third one is 1 minus tan squared x over 1 plus tan squared x. Remember, if you use any of these three other identities, you'll still come to the same solution of cosine 2 theta is equal to 119 over 169. Thank you for watching this video. Keep watching other videos. Look out for our upcoming videos. Please share this, share the other videos, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for your time.